again. So Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hello everyone. Welcome back. So lately we've been working quite a bit with functions within SQL, right? So I thought we would just cover two important date and time function that we most probably use during our data cleaning or data analysis process. Now, before I get into the actual function, I want to show you the requirement in an Excel file first, and then we'll come back to this BigQuery environment. So the data set that we're using is the same Apple stock data set. Link will be in the description in case you want to download the data. So let me just quickly jump into an Excel file first. So the requirement here is I have a column which is a date column here and I have a column which is a close column. So what I want to do here is I want to find out the average close price for a given month. But to do that, I would have to somehow convert these individual dates into a month. Now to do that, I would have to create a new column which will have only the month value in it. Only criteria here being I cannot convert a date column into a string, which means I cannot write this date column as April 22. Now there may be many ways to do this, but an easier approach would be I can create a new column here by the name of month val or any name that you like. And then in this column, I can assign the date as first day of each month. Like for example, in the first row we have April, 11th of April. I can assign this as 1st of April and wherever I have April, all those rows will have 1st of April value in it. Similarly, I have a row for May and this date says 2nd of May. I can convert this to 1st of May and again copy paste this 1st of May to all the rows where we have any date of May. So all the rows become 1st of May. What I can do is in Excel, I can create a pivot, drag this new column into the row value. And then in the value section, I can drag close and calculate average as simple as that. Now, how will you do this in SQL? That is exactly what we're going to do today. And we're going to see two main functions to do that. First one is called extract and second one is called date. Okay. So let's just quickly jump into BigQuery environment and see how it's done. All right, I'm in BigQuery environment now. I have a new editor window opened up. All you have to do is write a select statement. And here I would like to extract two columns from the data. First one is a month column, which we would have to create using our query. And the second one would be our close column, which we will be using to calculate the average price. So this is how it's done within select. I'm going to write a function, which is called date. Now date accepts three parameters. First one is the year. Second one is the month and third one is the day. So what it does is it combines all those inputs together and create a date for us, right? So let's say if I write 2013 in the first parameter, which is year parameter. And I write five in the month parameter and two in the day parameter. It would mean second May, 2013. It will convert that input into a date. So we're going to use this date function here. So this select statement will convert this input, which I gave, which is 2013 for year five for month and two for day into an absolute date. Okay, so I'm going to run this. And if you see in the result, it has now converted this into a date. The reason why you would want to convert a value into a date is because at times it happens that when you are running an analysis on a data, having a date column in your data comes in like a blessing because it helps you analyze any trends or patterns in a data in a better manner. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove this input from here. And instead, I'm going to write another function within this date function which is called extract. And this is the second function that we're going to learn today. And what this does is it extracts any component that you want from your date column. Okay. So you can extract year, month or day or hours, minutes, anything from your date and time column. And the list of values that you can extract will be there in the link in the description. You can check it out if you want. But for now, we only require two things. First one is year and second one is month. So all you have to do in the extract function is write year, the component or the part that you want to extract from the column name that you want to extract it from. As simple as that. We are writing a date function and within the date function, we are writing extract. This entire piece comes in as an year input. Then we got to write another input for the month. So I'm going to just copy paste this. And here I can just write month from date. And the last component is day. 
which is anyways i want to convert it to first day of the month so i can just say one and that's it and i'm going to close my select statement and say from apple stock and then i'm going to assign a alias to this i can call it month val and finally the last column that we would require is the average of the close column so i'm going to write avg close and at the end because we are aggregating or we are applying an aggregation function using average we would have to group this entire thing so i'm going to write group by month val and let's run this now if you see the results are perfectly fine i have successfully grouped my value on the basis of each month and then assigned average values to it as well now if you want i can order this entire thing by month val so that i can see everything in an ascending order i'm going to run this now if you see it has ordered everything together and you can see the results as well so that's how you use date and extract function within bigquery let me know in the comment section if you have any better way to do the same activity using any separate function i would love to learn that if you think you have learned something new today please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload new content and as always thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one